ja at er schei ja die wei begehen schei trotz so ne ist sanschle tratschine e baschischchen sanjekin e schei dat er tratsch erschien e schei nal e dat er gut a sanschle i just introduce myself in the navha way and this is an appropriate way to introduce oneself so you can find your relatives I'm very partial to weavings especially the older Navajo rugs such as the uh Germantown weaving like in this particular piece and I'm also interested in learning about the history of the rug if there are any documentations available and I'm interested in learning about the materials the Germantown yarns the dyes I would love to take the weaving apart and analyze and study the warps, the wefts, the joints in the design. I think that would be very fascinating. And this particular Germantown rug is the most appealing for its age. The use of a color combination is stunning. I was drawn to this particular weaving because I especially like the bold color, red. The red is very striking. and the pattern is very attractive with clean diagonal lines the zigzag patterns on the outsides are uniform and exquisitely woven in other words the zigzag lines are perfect parallel lines the sides are exceedingly straight and even which is hard to achieve and the colors and the patterns are laid out with perfect symmetry and this i firmly believe was woven by a very skilled weaver and the weaving is even it's flat and truly an amazing piece of art when i was looking at the uh, photograph of the weaving the germantown weaving i asked myself and i agree that there is absolutely science and math involved in the design and the materials used. I appreciate weaving on so many different levels. Examples, I endure the labor intensive process of herding the sheep, shearing the sheep with manual clippers, washing and sorting the wool, collecting the plants to make the colors, spinning the wool, spinning the yarn, dressing the loom and thinking up a design to weave. and i often wonder if a non-native knows how much is involved in creating a beautiful rug i wonder if they know that this particular weaver of this germantown rug um probably did not have a western education or an art degree but she is truly a genius in math and science because raising sheep you know is a science you know to me raising sheep in the desert you have to be able to know how to survive and know how to water your animals and i wonder how does the weaver figure all these out i have a lot of questions in my mind um one thing is i would love to ask the weaver how they felt about trader influence the use of commercially processed dyed yarn and introducing design you know designs to copy i would love to know which community the weaver came from what her clans are or how many sheep she possess and did anybody help her weave any family members help her weave was the process of preparing the material hard and who else wove in her family where where did she sell her rugs which trading posts and what other style or design she wove what influenced her did she teach anyone else in her family to weave how did she acquire her weaving tools did her family help her with the process the general knowledge that i've acquired very recently about who is the weaver i think for the most part you know it is generally known that uh it's the woman that possess you know weaving or do most of the weaving but according to uh 
traditional stories, both sexes are involved. The male were the original weavers, which I learned very recently. And uh, the women came into the picture and basically took up, took up the weaving. And today we're known to be, you know, the weavers. So it is accepted and it is, you know, true that, you know, both sexes uh, are the weavers. I believe that uh, for many Native artists or Navajo weavers, their environment, their community, and their culture plays a significant part in how and why they create art. The art could be any medium such as basket weaving, silversmithing, or clay making. But um, I think it's an interesting style in that the role of traders' influence on traditional local weavers played a big part in providing the weavers with pre-dyed colorful yarn from Germantown, Pennsylvania. And sometimes the designs were, you know, were provided for the weavers to uh, weave. In some ways, I think this made the process easier since the weavers didn't need to shear, clean, card, or spin the wool. And from personal experience, I know that you know, performing all the process is a very labor-intensive intensive, you know, process if a weaver produces everything by hand. But indigenous art comes from a place, a place that we call community. When I define indigenous aesthetic, it always reminds me that in our way, the Navajo way, we say that weaving is life. And uh, this is a very strong sediment, clearly links us as people to our art of weaving as a special and sacred gift. <laughs>